Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm a cloudy sheep and we are playing Fate of the World. Uh, we just arrived the, uh, in the year 2095. Um, we're making some very uh, good progresses and in particular we will build up space solar collectors um, and get a couple of new things. Uh, we are now deploy at, in the process of deploying artificial trees and um, so we are hoping uh, that our emissions will come down very drastically soon. Uh, the space collectors in particular will allow, <laughs> will allow um, us to use um, <laughs> will allow us to use um, more solar power um, in all regions. Now, uh, why I was a little bit stunned over here is because we just saw um, the temperature rise by 0 0.2 degrees, ne nearly 0 0.3 degrees in the last five years. So that is a very dramatic shift. Um, and that might actually bring us very, very close to um, breaking the three degrees threshold over here, which would mean that we are losing the game. Um, and one of the reasons for that is apparently, apparently this Arctic methane uh, release. So um, that is not very good. We're also seeing that global oil production peaks. So that again is not very good. On the other hand, we have now our solar uh, collector array successfully entering into geostationary orbit. So that means Oh, uh, so that means that we will um, get new stuff. So, another extinction event, so that is not very nice. And yet another, the wall was. And a cleft brain eruption in China, so so that is probably... The oh dear God, that is why we're seeing that. So I think that means we'll probably have lost the game. And in Oceania. That's just that's just one degrees of warming, just like that. Is that really true? I I, I think then we don't have any chance. Yeah, just look at this. The extra radiative force, 1.2. Dear God, just just look at that. We clathrate eruptions are brutal. They really really are. Let's firstly look at the power, but I think we'll have to do very drastic measures if we are going to survive the last couple of turns over here. So that's not very nice. Um, on the other hand, the renewables mix. So we do now see that there is some um, solar potential, and I think we do see that there's a lot of stuff being generated in um, Europe in terms of power. Do we actually see a, a jump in solar generation? No, it actually went down. That's peculiar. But then again, you know, you are at 100% um, electrical production, so um, I think this is this is fine, really. Um, where are your emissions actually coming from? I mean, yes, we are using artificial trees, so you have a negative forestry change. Um, industry is apparently still producing some emissions, mostly from the gas use and the oil use. We can't do much about that, but the energy usage is fine. Okay, so let's uh, look at the news in Europe. Um, electric transport is as successful um, as possible. The emission target has been uh, reached. European tech is booming, but there's a severe drought uh, risk and the industrial um, emissions are complete. So that's, that's fine. We also have um, super smart grids. And border security being boosted. That's interesting. Right, so um, let's see what we can do over here. So firstly, I think we have to deploy, further deploy um, artificial trees. Not much we can do about this. This really, really has to be done. Then I also think even though you are balanced um, and will probably not really appreciate of that, we do have to deploy uh, sulfur aerosols. And that is really the only thing that we can do in the short term. Um, that decreases uh, warming in particular. So this is really what we do effectively need to do. There's, there's nothing we can do um, except do that. Um, I also want to do a global policy and that is potentially over here somewhere. Ban cleft rate uh, exploitation. That really screwed us over and I don't want to have that. So yeah, we do need to do this. Can we do um, anything in terms of global things that we should want to do maybe? We don't really need um, 
HE3 uh, helium 3 extraction because we're not using a second generation um, power city orbital arrays would be nice uh, we don't need to commit to any particular form of energy because we do of course already have 100% um, energy um, by uh, sorry 100% renewable energy could vegetarian revolution you that would mean a little bit more gas usage but the energy usage would go down it would be nice not critical but nice and you are balanced so you're probably gonna accept that and uh, we could do uh, synthetic livestock um, which would mean that we are using more energy but I think we do have some slack in, in terms of the energy that we're using actually um, can we have a look at the energy used electricity over here so yeah it is lower than it was and I think even a couple of turns ago if we look at the electricity generation over here we can probably see that we were able to support a little bit higher um, um, renewable energy level already so I think synthetic feedstocks would be all right I mean industry no longer requiring oil and gas I think that's that's a good idea let's do that anything else we need to do I think you were um, suffering from drought so we might want to um, adapt to droughts over here and that could be alright could also do water management or wildlife conversation but I'm not sure that we do need that right now right let's go over to North America aerosol engineering in progress I think we will continue to do that we will also push you onwards to eco um, to, to green outlook so that I think is all right tech is booming everything is all right pretty much over here um, anything in terms of technology desalination nice but not critical these things will go on and be researched third generation biofuels what does it actually do I think we could uh, probably check over here that's North America produce biofuels with little impact on fuel, su fuel supply enables detoxification cost makes biofuels and um, oh, maxes biofuels and biofuel capacity expansion so that wouldn't be too bad I think that's just been um, researched in Oceania over here right so we should probably see that card over here do I see it water infrastructure really was it was it not over here that generation bio break fee yeah so where's that card then not over here nope I don't see it not not here not there expand by free production no no I really don't see it And a political no it can't be under political hmm oh well let's get back to North America let's let's find out what we do want to do over here so there's no particular need to do draws we do have artificial trees we will deploy aerosols so all of these are pretty good and um, eco awareness campaign yes we do want to continue to do that and um, I think you guys love us so much we could do wildlife conversation over here and that wouldn't be too bad and I don't think we need to acquire any of these so that's fine Let's go to Russia. Um, anything... You seem to be doing alright. Everything is looking fine. Super smart grids. Storms. Yeah, very, very high storm. Um, storm um, usage. Also, decline power has been successful, so that's nice to see. So, first of all, um, let's make sure that we are deploying aerosols, because we really, really need to do this and maybe any technology that we want to acquire apparently we have first generation non-tech oh yeah we are already deploying um, trees let me just actually deactivate that for a second and put it back up here just so it's where I know it is right anything else um, how does your energy production look like Emissions are negative, electricity 
you're producing mostly renewables, so I think it might be a good idea to switch to trans the transportation sector to um, electricity, and that should be fine. And I think you were worried about storms, right? Yeah, so let's grab the card that will protect us against storms, even though we'll continue to spend money on that. China, likewise. I didn't recognize that card right now. Um, likewise, let's go ahead and deploy aerosol sulfates because we need to. And um, we'll also try to get artificial trees over here. I think that's fine. Anything else we need to do? Clathrate eruption, yes, we know about that. I don't think we'll be able to stem that tide, but um, we'll have to see. Oh, your energy shortage is greatly exceeding supply. That's really not that great. So, right, so first off, your electricity. You're being produced by cost sort of everything. We still have this, but the industri industrial energy usage is so high in China. And we are trying to commit you to renewables. Hmm, that's particular. I think I'm happy as as is with the committing to the renewables. I think the cup and trade scheme probably helpful over here economic bounds is eco-friendly china is now considering it developed and has switched its cap and trade objective so yeah okay so you're trying to cap your emissions that's good to see um but all in all i mean the subsidized biochar we might drop do we want to acquire anything in particular i mean maybe biofuels How's, how's your water stress level? Alright. Not good, but alright. So, the biofuels. How is your biofuel production? Um, I think it's under oil, right? Marketable oil, global oil? Nope. Agriculture, then? Toxicity, water, workers, forests, oil use? No. Environment? I don't think so. No. All right. All right. Let's uh, just pick something useful then. Um, ideally, in the categories of energy, maybe. Don't want to expand oil production over here. Decline oil power. Ban on conventional oil. No, I don't think so. Uh, we could abandon high yield crops. No, we don't want to do that. You know what, all in all, I think it might be fine if we were simply to continue using biochar. Yeah, let's do so. Let's get to the Middle East. Um, let's see what your concerns are. Some things going extinct. Um, you are not yet using that. Fourth generation replaced. Of that is all right. Solar research, you're experiencing water stress, uh, which is of course not that great. How much water stress are we talking about? 36%, that's not great. Oh well, first off, uh, we do need the sulfur uh, aerosols. Um, secondly, I would like to use artificial trees, but apparently we can't. Uh, probably because we don't have the technology. Super smart grids. Super tensiles, we will research in five years anyway, so let's go ahead and pick super smart grids um, because simply the uh, reduction in energy usage is going to be um, extremely helpful and don't think we need uh, to discourage uh, meat production though and let's instead expand our oil production because we've apparently reached peak oil and that needs to be addressed northern africa can we deploy aerosols over here yes we can it's going to be unpopular because uh, you are communal but it's definitely something that we do need to do forestry Anti-drop measures rescue. Wildfire and erosion chance plus three percent. Hand draw plus four. Industrial emissions are going down. All of the emissions are going down, so that's nice to see. Water stress. Tech advancing slowly. Peace reigns. Hmm. So yeah, all of these are things that I would like to keep. We 
could potentially um, acquire new technologies over here. Let's go for super smart grids. I don't think advanced drilling is the way to go, um, but this would definitely just reduce um, our energy usage uh, straight off. Um, and that's definitely a good idea. So let's acquire super smart grids. Middle East we did. Um, let's just continue doing Southeast Asia. Likewise over here, aerosols, definitely something that we need. Would like to see no, we don't. Probably have, don't have nanotechnology, right? We don't. Um, so let's grab that. Fourth generation. Uh, no, it was over here. Quite nanotechnology. So any particular news that we do need to be worried about? Doesn't look like it. So I think everything is all right. Victory declared in that. That's good to see. Smart grids. Super tensile materials. Anything else? Desalination, fourth generation nuclear is going to be research anyway. So desalination? No, your water stress level is really fine. So I think we can get away with playing a couple of uh, rather cheap cards over here. Or maybe we can actually uh, come into renewables. Where are your emissions coming from? Industry and energy. Industry, are you using coal in your industry? You are. Well, that's particular, so let's play the appropriate card over here and decline coal use in industry. Where's that? I think it might be over here. Yeah, coal-free industry. That's a very important tech, actually. Yeah, and all of that will happen naturally, so no need to do that. Let's do a of conversation just because I'm a little bit worried about that. Japan, you are not deploying um, aerosols, so we should definitely do that. Um, we could, should also pick artificial trees if we can, so these are important things. Non-technology, eco campaign, yes, good. Grasslands management, also good. Industrial, good direction, forest treaty, tech is booming. Less sunshine, yes, I know. Storms, hmm. Storms are not good, but I think all of these points are still very uh, important. Ooh, and we will grab first generation fusion, so that is also very, very nice to see. Right, let's get ahead uh, with Latin America. Sunshine, right direction, tech booming, everything seems to be fine. Smart grids, super tensiles, yes, so let's pick, deploy sulfates. Let's grab artificial trees, unless we can't, because we don't have nanotech. So, yeah, nanotech is the way to go. High education program. I don't think we need that necessarily. I think coal for industry. Um, if you're still using actually coal in your industry, yeah, a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit, so don't think we need that. And electricity, you are all, all renewable, so that is actually very nice. Uh, we could even switch to electricity, uh, electrical driving then. I think that's fine. Dude, we, did, we did not get any warnings about storms or anything, right? I think it's alright. So... Water stress is fine, so we don't really need to do anything about that. So I'm pretty happy actually about this. Let's switch out of the higher education into wildlife conversation just for a second over here. And in Southern Africa, deploy sulfates. Nope, we don't have uh, artificial trees yet, so probably we do need to acquire nanotechnology, which is really far away. This I think is 38 years, so let's pick advanced drilling and make our way over there um, and try to get that. Decline coal power, I think that would be important. How is your power situation looking like? Yeah, you're still using a lot of coal. That's not that great. But I mean, we do have all of the important bits, so we might actually, instead of declining coal power, uh, commit to renewables. And that way we should be going the right way. Southern Africa, everything else seems to be fine. No storms, but 
not much we can do about it, so I think it's going to be alright. India, yes, everything is bad, including um, in particular water stress level, I think. Industrial pollution. Dear God. How can you still be so such a high emitter? Energy usage. Oil. It's really, really big still here. But we are committing to renewables. And I hope that... Um, Oh, you're using less energy. That's good to see. And I hope that the renewables uh, will become a little bit more available. First generation nanotech, definitely something that we do want to acquire. Um, over here, aerosols, definitely something that we do want to do. Desalination, maybe? I mean, desalination is important. Yeah, you are at water stress level. 50% so let's do this and I think all of the other ones are still um, important aspects of our overall strategy. Oceania you are deploying aerosols, um, you do use artificial trees um, I like to see that. Can we acquire anything that is extremely useful? Super smart grids I don't think it is it is really I mean where do your positive emissions come from? So the highest negative number of this is agriculture actually. Interesting. Can we reduce the agricultural usage of anything? No. You do sort of like us, consumerist. We could do an eco awareness campaign. I think that's fine. And in Japan over here we are deploying aerosols, we do have artificial trees. I think we actually checked that, so that's good. Let's uh, recruit more people because we do have the money. Do some rush, I did I not see that anywhere else yet down there. Recruit these people and in Russia I'm gonna also expand the oil production. I think you are still producing oil, aren't you? Are we not doing that? Oil? Conventional oil? Nope. It seems like we are pretty much out of oil in Russia. So, plus 2.5 in recoverable. But no, that's not. That's really not worthwhile. And um, we are at 100% renewable, so I don't think we need to do anything about that. If anything, no, you wouldn't like that. You're you're totally not eco um, aware. So, definitely a no. Water stress level, I mean, you would like that, but all in all, not that helpful. Grow agriculture, grow commerce. Let's do transportation efficiency. I mean, it helps with the switch to, to electricity, and I think that should be all right. Good. Over here, medical welfare, maybe. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do coal-free industry. I think that's... That's an all right choice. So, I think we deployed aerosols everywhere. Let's briefly check that. That's going to be 12 regions. I hope, I really, really hope that that is going to bring down um, the temperature by enough for the clethrates to not screw us up entirely. Yeah, we are doing so apparently everywhere, so that is good to see. I'm really excited to see how this goes. There we go. That's very nice. And global oil production is on the rise again. Global population. Solar power on a rainy day. The orbital solar thermal collection system. Thermal collection? Uh, you initiated has been successfully commissioned. It is now beaming plentiful supplies of energy down to the Earth's surface. Solar power is no longer at the mercy of the weather. That is very nice to see. Also, fusion breakthrough in Tokamak uh, nuclear fusion reactors, so that is perfectly lovely. China's emission have fallen by a lot. India's have decreased by a little bit. We expected more of a decrease. And Southeast Asia has actually increased, so I guess there's a wildfire over here. Uh, but we do need to deal with that. Everyone still sort of likes us, so I think that's alright. Yep, yeah, here we go, catching some rays. Nice achievement, so lovely to see that. And let's briefly pop into Europe to see how your energy um, usage is 
these days then, or electricity generation I'm actually more interested in. Okay, so I think your energy usage has just jumped up dramatically. From agriculture, yeah. And from industry. Jesus, look at that. That's that's really a big change um, due to the cards that we played last time. And I think that was the, um, the card linked to... Can we see that down here? Um, the card play to synthetic feedstock. So that increased our energy usage dramatically. Really, really dramatically. Um, both for the industry and agriculture. Uh, but that means that we are now using uh, more energy, but I think it's a relatively okay mix. Um, and I think the overall emissions uh, might have even gone down a little. Yeah, I mean, energy is going down, uh, is going up, of course, because we are now using um, things again. But for agriculture, it has decreased and industry, it has decreased. Overall, still in that game, uh, but I think it's going to be all right because we are... Uh, still, we can still get more, um, more good renewables down here, um, and that should be fine. Good. Um, I think we've banned all global cleft rays, right? Yes. Triggered by green outlook, unnecessary evil. Well, you're balanced. Muted, but accepting response to the decision to put global safety ahead of energy. Uh, so that's good to see. Ooh, drop mitigation in effect. Okay, so that's good to see. Europe links up to solar array plus 30% global solar capacity and uh, current solar capacity. So that's very, very lovely. Mute free future. Yes, nice. Less sunshine due to the sulfates. That is something that we do have to deal with, uh, but I think it's all right. Natural gas no longer used. Yeah. Um, no longer used. Oil no longer used, so that's nice. Good, good, good. Alright. Um, I think all of these points are still fine. Um, we might not even need the adaptation um, technology over here. Um, although people do seem to like that, so I think that's alright. Uh, so we might want to do something more, further more expensive. Artificial biomes would also be nice. While of conversation, let's do that. I think it's it's nice to keep a couple of, of guys going. Hmm, first generation fusion is also interesting. Let's briefly pop over to um, Japan and see what would happen over there. Fusion power is is nice to see and 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 maybe get, but I think in Europe. Uh, we don't have to do that right now. Commit to renewables, wildlife conversation, all of that seems fine. Don't need any of the fancy global stuff. Um, I think all seems fine. E also on the technology side and in terms of energy. We could do global bans on all kinds of things, but you don't need to do that. Could we do a global ban on coal? Global ban on pro coal production. Yeah, I think that would be a bit too drastic for now. Uh, we still shouldn't go overboard and, and do everything uh, right now. You didn't like the Clathrain, um ban, but guys, it's simply something that we do need to do. Um, and you're becoming less consumerist, so that is also good. Plus 25 uh, support per turn, so that is nice. Um, yeah, everything seems to be all right. Um, except for the storms. So let's adapt to storms. I think that's all right. Is that for a couple of turns or is this just for now? I think it's just for now. So we'll have to see about that. Everything else though, aerosols, trees, eco-awareness, still more technology. So I think these factors are all right. Anything in terms of emissions that we do want to watch out for? Can't really read this anyway, so but yeah, nothing but not much uh, happening over here. So that is all right. And let's quickly hop down to India over here to see what's going on. Yes, you don't really like us still concerned, but you are balanced now, so that's good to see. And I 
yeah, yeah, necessarily evil, so that is good to see. Every breath is killing you, that's not good. Water stress, yeah, that's definitely something that we do need to um, take care of. All of the rest seems to be fine. Um, I'd li really like to have a look on your energy mix today. 18% renewables. Solar is, is going up a little bit. Uranium. Uranium just went down. Interesting. Oil is where it is. Biomass. Tidal. It's alright. You are committing to renewables. You are still trying to reduce your emissions. So these things are alright. Um, let's do a desalination program because we do, I think, need the water um, a little bit over the next terms. Artificial trees also very nice uh, because they do suck out um, suck out CO2 from the atmosphere um, and that will be lovely. And we'll briefly have a look at the stat telemetry and the radiator forcing over here. So global temperature, how would your projection be? It would sort of stabilize so that's good to see. Parts per million concentration is steadily going up still because um, our total emissions go up but our global annual emissions should really be coming down now so that is fantastic to see. It's still coming worldwide uh, a lot from energy and especially the energy in India and Southeast Asia so these are factors that we do need to deal with. The radiative forcing over here I'm kind of concerned that we are overdoing it. Um, there are certain thresholds when when this um, when there's a certain well basically if if I think at this level if the temperature was too low um, there might be an issue so we'll have to think a little bit about that but that being said um, I think we just um, dealt with three um, more of the most important areas um, but we do definitely um, need to have a look at the other ones um, soon so I think that's gonna have to wait till next uh, time so I'm happy to see you tomorrow and uh, deal with that then thank you very much for watching bye bye